legislature, executive and judiciary and all three of them they will function separately and no one will interfere with the works of others. That is the concept of separation of powers and all the powers will not be concentrated in one organ. The simple reason is that it will lead to dictatorship. If all the three powers that is law making, law execution as well as law adjudication is there in one body or in one person or one institution, it may lead to dictatorship. And that is why there is a need for separation of powers. <coughs> you can write it. The concept of or the doctrine of separation of powers was propounded by the French philosopher was propounded by the French philosopher Montesquieu propounded by the French philosopher Montesquieu Montesquieu was of the opinion Montesquieu was of the opinion that if all the three functions of the government that if all the three functions of the government that is law making law making law implementation and law adjudication and law adjudication are vested in V E S T E D are vested in one institution or in one person or in one person it may lead to dictatorship it may lead to dictatorship That is why, that is why, there is need for separation of powers, there is need for separation of powers between the three organs of the government, between the three organs of the government. In the next sentence you write, as India is having, as India is having a parliamentary form of government, as India is having a parliamentary form of government. Separation of powers is not feasible. Separation of powers is not feasible between the executive and the legislature. Between the executive and the legislature. as there is fusion as there is fusion f u s i o n fusion between the two
बट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन provides for the constitution provides for separation of judiciary separation of judiciary from the executive from the executive you say in our country the ministers they are the members of the parliament they present most of the bills and because of the number the bills are passed in the parliament so basically the executive it prepares the draft of the bill it presents the bill also it take part in the debates and discussions also but in a presidential form of government the ministers are not at all related with the law making process they are not the members of the legislature they do not take part in the proceedings of the congress also in case of united states of america the three organs executive legislature and the judiciary they function independently in case of a presidential system but apart from the presidential and the parliamentary system in some of the states like france russia we have seen a combination of both a parliamentary system as well as presidential system we call it as quasi presidential system you may write it here only quasi presidential system as it is practiced in france russia we don't use the term parliamentary quasi parliamentary we use the word presidential because it is more closer to the presidential system with some elements of the parliamentary system also in france the french president is directly elected by the people and after that what the french president does he appoints his prime minister and on the advice of the prime minister he appoints the other other ministers in the council of ministers so appointing the ministers on the advice of the prime minister is a feature of a parliamentary system direct election of the president and the appointment of the prime minister by the president of his own is a feature of the presidential system then the french president he presides over the meetings of the cabinet or the council of ministers just to see that his policies are being implemented well by the council of ministers or not a minister cannot be a member of the legislature a minister cannot be a member of the legislature these are certain features and it all depends on the president he can delegate some of the powers to the prime minister if he wishes if not he can take all the powers with him and ask the council of minister to just help him out so it all depends on the president in a quasi presidential system ठीक है यू मे राइट इट फ्रांस इज अ ग्लेरिंग एग्जाम्पल फ्रांस इज अ ग्लेरिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ क्वासी प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम ऑफ अ क्वासी प्रेसिडेंशियल सिस्टम the french president is directly elected by the people the french president is directly elected by the people
he appoints the prime minister he appoints the prime minister and on the advice of the prime minister he appoints the other ministers he appoints the other ministers he chairs the cabinet he chairs the cabinet meetings he chairs the cabinet meetings chairs c h a i r s he chairs the cabinet meetings to see that to see that his policies are well implemented are well implemented by the minute by the cabinet or not the president the president can assume all the executive powers can assume all the executive powers himself or can ask the prime minister or can ask the prime minister to exercise the powers to exercise the powers on his behalf on his behalf uh, next a minister cannot be a minister cannot be a member of the legislature a minister cannot be a member of the legislature you say in russia you may have heard the name of mr putin he is the president he is the president before that he was the prime minister also and before that he was the president also so uh he was the president and he assumed all the powers then the law of the land may not have permitted him to contest the election for the third time consecutively so he became the prime minister and his own person became the president and appointed him as the prime minister so he assumed all the powers when he was the prime minister only putin 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 now you may not have heard the name of the prime minister of russia also and when he was the prime minister you may not have heard the name of the president also clear yeah. so basically if people have elected i have no uh, we can say issue i cannot say that okay it is a dictatorial state but whatever it is a person remaining in power for so many years uh, yes if the people accept him not an issue but we have got such type of loopholes in the system also these were the type of we can say system based on the relationship between the legislature and the executive I uh, will stop here for the day. I will see you tomorrow at nine o'clock. Uh, the Mumbai students, I will see you tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning. Yes. No, no. He can be anyone. the secretaries or the ministers who are there in uh, 
America, they are the personal choice of the American president and they can be chosen uh, because of their political affiliations or because of their say, professional skills. It all depends on the American president. No, it all depends. If there is a need to change the complete article, if there is a uh, article related to the uh, distribution of taxation between the center and the state, the earlier article will be repealed and then the new article will be there, but the number will be different. Clear? It will be A, B, C, capital A, B, C. The original article will be repealed. If that continues, obviously we can have addition. Chalo, I'll see you. Thank <laughs> you.